Well, let's try to simplify a radical expression. This one with a six root and a cube root. So let's see what we have. We have the six root of three divided by the cube root of nine. And we're going to try to get this as a single radical in the lowest form with uh, no radical in the denominator. First, we're going to remove the radical from the denominator. Now, how will we do that? Uh, we're going to multiply by 1 in the form that makes the denominator have a perfect cube that can be extracted. So I'm going to multiply. I have the cube root of 9, which is 3 squared. So if I multiply by the cube root of 3, I'll have the cube root of 27, which is 3. So the 1 requires the, numer the numerator and the denominator be the same. Uh, so a, a value over itself is a form of 1. So that's why we always multiply the numerator by the same thing. So we know we have 3 in the denominator, but the numerator has a 6 root of 3 and a cube root of 3. So what are we going to do with that? We don't want two radicals there. None of we can help it. Uh, I find it easier to work with exponents, and it's 3 to the 1 6 times 3 to the 1 3rd. Uh, you don't have to. Uh, a lot of these things you can swap steps around or use different notations. It's fine. Anyhow, uh, 3 to the 1 6 times 3 to the 1 3rd is 3 to the 1 6 plus 1 3rd. And so that's still over 3. We can't lose our denominator. But since 1 sixth plus 1 third is 1 half, our numerator becomes 3 to the 1 half, or the square root of 3 over 3. At this point, it's simplified. So one radical, the lowest our index on that radical, a 2, can't get any better than that. Uh, the pure number is fine. Thank you, and I hope you would subscribe uh, so you can find others very easily. There are many more and more coming.